What's up guys, Jed here from Locked In Off-Road Consoles. Today we're putting a ammo crate in the Zook. Let's go. So as you can see here, there's not much storage going on in this, and there's, there's heaps of space for storage up here down there look at that that's all just wasted there's some lever in here that doesn't do anything the storage in there that's the only storage we got this that that doesn't work that just falls down everything falls out of that so we've got ammo crates we had to contact our mate Jordan he's a weapons expert mate he's been involved in guns for a while so we hit him up and he told us to go get this at church's disposal so this fits in here perfectly and then on the front of that we're gonna have cup holders so we can hold yetis so first off we're going to do some modifications of the box because it doesn't have a hinge it's just got two latches so we're going to cut off one side so we can have a hinge all right so we've cut the outside latches off now and we've worked out that the lid fits perfectly with this little section here over the front and it fits in the back there like that I don't know if you can see it probably not we'll get some footage of it so that it can go in there um, and it just sits down like that so we probably won't even need a front latch because that just sits nicely like that honestly and then that's your little handle at the front you can just lift it up we'll chuck a hinge on the back now we'll have to go grab one of them from our favorite place Bunnings and then at the front here perfectly fits two Yeti coolsters there so we'll have two little PVC cup holders we're gonna find out what parts we need and make them to sit there like that that's about it for the test fit all right so we've acquired the hinge from Bunnings the Shepo's hit it with a flapper disc to give us some clean metal to work with we've got a nice earth point there we're gonna use bolts but Shepo's used a welder three times now so he's just real excited and wants to weld everything oh he even he even tried to weld the plastic cup holders that we got so they're nine, um, 80 mil dropper to 90 mil square so there's our two cup holders you'll see more about that later on but now we're going to get into welding with Shepo measure nuts weld with lots of weld something like that eh? Got two lovely tucks there by Shep. didn't fit so we've decided to take the doors off to make it fit that's it that's all I can tell you <laughs> so everybody that owns a Suzuki knows the Phillips head screws are not good for the doors so I'm welding nuts onto the Phillips head screws to get them out to replace them with stainless steel screws so I never have this problem again that's it Good, no rusty doors. Scratch them up, give them some Raptor. Did you just paint yours, Raptor? I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Yeah. 
That's 10 litres of yeah, water right there. Good, Look at that bud, standing up. Got big red doors on the Zook now mate. These are nice and straight. Shepo's going to gut them. Change the insides. We've now changed off the screw Phillips tip ones to bolts. And then, there's a secret mod happening. Where this whole bit's getting chopped off. All that bottom bit's going to be gone mate. By tomorrow. Me and Shepo have finished the mod install, so it's not bolted down because it doesn't need to be. It just fits that perfectly. It's like it was made for it. We've got the hinge on, as you can see, opens up perfectly. Look at that, mate. We've got the oh, that line. This this lines up here with that and just closes so nicely. We then have the two liter Yeti that just fits in there. That stands up right, mate. How good is that? Now he has a place for that finally after all these years. Look at that. Then oh. we spray painted it black where we took the paint off. Then in the front here, we have cup holders which fit Yetis. Look, they're sitting like that and then you push them in and they're locked in off road. <laughs> How good. 80 mil to square downpipe droppers. That's what they are. Two of them joined together with a bit of silicon and screws. Fucking mint. More storage than a Zook could ever ask for. And Jordan can put his ammo in here when he's getting in shootouts and etc. <laughs> Thanks guys. Stay locked in. And remember, stay locked in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment on the video. It helps out the channel. Check out the link in the description. Go follow me on Instagram. And remember, stay locked in.